We're starting in the City Line kitchen because Chef Stefano Faita is in the house to make us our daily dish. Yeah. All right, Chef, I love that we are turning Italian sausages into a burger because yes. I am a big fan of the burgers. So you like burgers? I love burgers to the point where I will order burgers even at a high-end restaurant because I find that they even do their burgers better than a regular burger. So people are like, what are you doing in this restaurant? Just get out. She just said no, no, burger no. four times in the same sentence, burger, everybody. Burger, burger, she must I like, will never get sick of so burgers. Basically, we're making Italian sausage burgers. And what's great about this is that when you buy sausage, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, they're already all seasoned, right? Yeah. And usually have the right amount of fat to, to meat or to flesh. So basically, mm -hmm. everything's already there for you. So it's easy. You buy your favorite Italian sausage or whatever sausage, and yeah. we remove the casing. It's got to be Italian sausage. Yeah, Stefano, so, just can, be yeah. honest. Yeah, He's yeah, Italian, and he wants yeah, you to yeah. take the Italian, 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 Italian sausage. Italian sausage. And I would do spicy. And you would do spicy. So mm. we just, re look, we just want to remove the casing, guys. Pretty easy. This yeah. comes off, like, just like that. And, and are we then, doing one sausage per patty? Yes, you're doing like one sausage per patty, and then you just want to flatten them out, and it gives you your patty, That's right? Easy, so so easy. one sausage per patty, and you're yeah. looking at about. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna do a second one. You're looking at about anywhere between 150 to 175 grams of meat. Okay. Basically. Which is normal. Which is pretty normal for yeah. a burger. You can get a bigger burger, but I mean, you know, bigger sausage, bigger burger. Right. right? Exactly. Right. So, so that's a regular yeah, size patty. Exactly. It's already easy. It's yeah, easy it's already to easy. Look, it's already there. You're not putting breadcrumbs no, in or anything. You're not, no, no, not at all. So you have your patties, and then from there, we can just pan fry them. Obviously, today, you can go out and grill them on the barbecue, right? Yeah, if it's yeah, nice yeah. outside, whatever it is. But For sure. So we're just going to put them in the pan. Nice. Oh, I'm going to just raise the heat here a little bit. And you just want to cook them on each side for about four to five minutes, mm -hmm. okay? Okay, so and what, doing we're here. doing this like on a regular medium heat? Yeah, medium high heat. Medium high? Yeah, you want them to get nice and golden brown on each side. Okay. So we're gonna remove my so our patties, sexy gloves. Well, you know what? At least hey, look at the that. The fact that you found them in black is a little bit chic. Like, it's, I like it's that. It's better, no? Yeah, it's kinda yeah. nice, I, it's yeah. kinda nice. <laughs> So, so we let them do their thing. Now, yeah. while they're there doing their thing, yeah. I know that you want to make something else. Exactly. So we're making a fennel slaw to nice. go with the burgers. Why do you like fennel? Because it's like awesome. It's like there's <laughs> like a no, but it's a fennel is great because there's like a little bit of a licorice flavor, yeah. you know, anise. Yeah. It's like um, it's it's very crisp, especially yeah. when you fennel is great when you're making a slaw because when you even if you slice it very very thin, it stays a little crunchy. Totally. One trick though is if you are slicing it very very thin, is put it in a bath of ice water mm -hmm. and let it sit there. And when you take it out and make your slaw, it, it's really really ultra crunchy. That's crunchy. what I like. Okay? okay, nice. So we're gonna start with the dressing. Yeah. So I have a little bit of um, apple cider vinegar. Okay. Okay. When you're making a slaw dressing, you always have vinegar and you have the you have the the sugar, so a little bit of sugar. So uh -huh. put the sugar in there, about two tablespoons. A touch of olive oil, nothing yeah. crazy. Some salt and some pepper. Beautiful. So we're gonna whisk all that up together. Okay. So far, so good. Should I be doing anything here? Yeah, or no, just no, leave you it? can look. You can look. Okay. So leave all that up. That's good. And then from there, what we're gonna do here too is I'm just gonna go back here. We have our burgers, Tracy. Yeah. So I'm just gonna add. Two yes, slices sir. of provolone cheese. Yeah, nice. Right? Now we like it. Or just a sharp cheese, a cheddar, yes. if you prefer, that's fine, right? I'm good with the provolone too. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna lower the heat so here. So you take a it bit. off the heat. Yeah, put and this look, in, put these the guys, cheese we can on. just flip them up. Good. Just like this. Bingo. Excellent. That's good. That's perfect. So now we have fennel and yeah. a mandolin. Okay, so this we have to watch out at home, guys. You gotta watch your fingers. I'm a professional. He's got so, no guard. Yeah, and I have no nails. <laughs> so basically, you just want to go on the mandolin. Now it's a love and hate relationship because you, it's dangerous a little bit to use, but they also sell gloves that you can put on your hands to protect them nowadays. Oh, but cool. it makes such nice thin slices that it's like a wonderful tool. It makes your vegetables look so much more edible. Exactly. Like, it's like you could just put everything through the mandolin. Yeah, it's, it's it fabulous. And even like, you put here, you got a red onion, you just go right through there. You just have to like really pay attention not to yeah, cut your fingers, right? For sure. So that goes in here. Oh, very nice. So we mix that up. We're going to add our dressing. Mm -hmm. Boom. 
Okay. The color and the crunch of the of the slaw is really and lovely. And we mix this together. And what we want to do in a perfect world is let it sit for 30 minutes to an hour. In a perfect, perfect world, because yeah. there's two perfects. Right. <laughs> four hours in the fridge. Four. Yeah, two to four hours is even better. So okay. we're going to let that sit. Now, here I have some slaw that we already... It sat. It sat for an hour. It's saturated. All the flavor yes. is in there. I have my burgers with my provolone that's slightly melted. Slightly melted. Okay. I have a brioche bun. Yes. That yes. I toasted. And he toasted it, which I feel like I should give you extra points for. A little touch of I'm Dijon mustard. I'm very big mustard, on a toasted bun versus right? like a cold bun right up from out of the fridge. I don't know how people do Dijon that. Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard. No I'm, ketchup. Oh, I was just going to ask about the ketchup. <laughs> I know you were going to ask about the ketchup. <laughs> so we're not going to do ketchup. Yeah, listen, if you want to do ketchup, you can do ketchup. I but do I'm ketchup. not coming over to eat if okay, you're making fine. a ketchup. I would just put so, ketchup on mine. There you go. So we put the burger patty. Ketchup's good. We but just, that's okay. The burger's look at this, good guys. We it. top this with a little bit of the slaw. Just yeah, like baby. that. Yeah, baby. And we just put that right over. And you know you can get yourself these nice little skewers. That's and very just go, nice. Boom. Okay, so this is beautiful. I want you, because I'm so magnanimous, yeah. I'm going to share it. Okay, I'm going to cut so it. So cut it in half, and I said to the audience, I don't know, does anybody want to try like an Italian sausage burger? And oh. one person in particular was like, me! <laughs> Could you come up? Yes. Come on up. I like the enthusiasm. I was about the enthusiasm. I Come mean, on in here. Yeah, thank you. Uh, what is your Looking. name? Marion. Marion. Okay, so are you a burger fan? Like I'm a burger fan. A big burger fan. <laughs> good, good. It's the it's the ultimate sandwich. It Absolutely. always it always gives you what you need. Mm -hmm. Right. I don't know. I have, I have like pressure here, everybody. Yeah, I pressure. feel like pressure. So two burger queens here. You take this one. Please. I will take this one. Go ahead. And let's just give it. Let me a big know old bite. if it's good. I hope it's good. Mm. I'm sure it's good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stay here. Awesome. Because you want to eat the rest. Uh, find the recipe on CityLine.com.